Tata. First at Calabar and then to Tata. I guess I spent the first four years of my life in Calabar, Crossula, because my mother is from Crossula. And then I moved to Botaqua and spent the rest of my growing up days in Botaqua. I schooled in Botaqua. I actually started schooling at St. John's Primary, Botaqua, and then moved to secondary school in Itona High School, which is indeed the first uh, secondary school in River State. And then I, I went on to the University of Botaka to the theater arts. I actually started out 25 years ago. I started out as a dancer, uh, uh, took part in the then Job Player Dance World Championship. Uh, I was at some point celebrated as a top best dancer in the country. I think that was in 1984 precisely. A friend of mine, Sidney Diala, in those days, invited me to see, to be part of uh, a reading. And I went, read, and Zabedjo thought I was good enough for the role. And so I got my first acting job in a movie entitled Faces. Hollywood is, uh, Hollywood is, um, is like the streets of Adjosa do. Nollywood is like that small forest near Kurudu Road. But man, Adjosa do started as a forest. And so we must give Nollywood a chance. We're not there, there's no room, no reason for comparison. But we basically had bushes at some time. We would develop our own bush, our own forest. So let's believe and trust Hollywood. And let's give it time. America started like 200 and something years ago. We just started about two decades ago. And we're already, we want to compete with an institution and a culture that has been there for over 200 years. Let's be patient, we'll get there. If you really want to work, it is simple. At this stage, in a group, we should be able to have proper workshop for 1,000 or 500 actors learning the skills, the methods properly. You will not invite people from Gute Institute abroad go to the institute as they call it, and they will come willingly and they will teach and will learn properly. In learning like this, just as trained actors like myself have learned, we will begin to instill discipline. Because if you take out time to study, you will learn the discipline of the art and you will learn to respect people who work. And then a situation where a certain person, one person is giving money, producer, director, and he embezzles all and sees the others as slaves and you know push them around it's so sad i have had personal cases where people have cheated a lot of actors and so the actors right so those people who also produce and direct should also be very fair to the man who works and if you tell me there's no money the marketer said there's no money in this industry is a very flimsy stupid excuse we're 140 million people if you cannot find a way to sell DVD to 100, 1 million Nigerians, then you should not be in the business. At least 500. How can a marketer come and tell me a video has now sold more than 10,000 copies? Did you sell the movie around your street or in your village? We're talking about the whole Nigeria. So we should, I think the lack of trust, like I said, integrity. This is why South Africans, if you watch Big Brother, will tell you that we are cheats and we are corrupt. We should be fair, we should treat this industry like a serious business. Treat this industry the way bankers treat their industry. Treat this industry the way doctors treat their industry. Let's be professional, let's have integrity, let's do things not because we want to earn now, but because we want to institute an industry where others will also earn. Let's make sacrifices. Well, 
stop looking up to me, huh? Look up. I'm not so tall, I'm not, I'm not in the sky. Your place is up there in the sky. Believe in yourself and be confident, okay? I can only pray for you and tell you. Don't get disappointed when you don't get to where you want to get to so fast. What's important is that you get there. And the only way you can get there is stay focused and dedicated. And tell yourself, this is where I want to be. It might take Mr. A 10 years. It might take you 20 years. Not, now let me not scare you. I'm not going to say 10, 20 years. It might take Mr. A 6 months to become a star. And it might take you 3 years. But I, I bet you, I believe that the three years will be worth the wait. So just wait and focus. You will always get there. They are also disciplined. Respect people. Fame is like a flame and burns so quickly. Once you become famous, you think you do not, you should not respect anybody. People should look up to you. Remember to always be humble. That God has a promise for those who are humble. And remember that the word sometimes, it, uh, what would they call it? A career or a craft, an endeavor is called a discipline. Because there must be some sort of order, some pattern of behavior that's acceptable not only to you but to mostly to people. So keep being good and behaving well. Listen to people, take advices. Don't just become, don't just have the desire to become famous and then. You think you now have the license to insult people and to disrespect them. In fact, it is harder to be in the light, black light, because once you're there, you need to behave yourself and be responsible. So, thank you. Very quickly, I would um, say that the bold steps that I had to take was one, accepting my father's order in 1987 to come back to River State, go back to secondary school and start from class 4 after I left secondary school in 1983. Because he felt I needed serious discipline to move ahead in my life. The second bold step was to ignore my job, listen to Zedejo and stay back at Lagos. The third was to marry my wife when I had next to nothing. 